What's up everyone, we're back again for some more Gundam Evolution gameplay, this time playing as Heavy Arms on Colony Trading Post. And Heavy Arms did receive a buff in the latest Season 4 patch, probably the smallest damage adjustment I think we've seen on anyone, just that 4 extra damage. But you gotta remember that Heavy Arms puts out a lot of bullets, so that little 4 damage it does start to add up pretty quick when you're putting out that many shots. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think a lot of people felt that Heavy Arms was a bit on the weak side, maybe just a little bit on the weak side uh, last season. And this was, a, you know, this, a small buff, not really the buff that I had, you know, really wanted. I think I had mentioned before that I would have preferred them to touch something with the overheat mechanic, maybe take it a little bit longer to overheat, or maybe you recover from overheat more quickly. But uh, thinking on it more, this does kind of make sense. It does seem like Heavy Arms is designed to kind of be like a really just heavy damage suit, you know, initially kind of showed it as a shield shredder uh something you set up and you just you know once you get set up you just overpower everything with your damage and it does feel like just that little bit of extra damage they've given it it is kind of living up to that role more it is very scary to fight one-on-one -on -one right now um ironically i do think that dynamic is the newest suit is one of the better ones uh at, at fighting it because you have the um you know it's easier to land headshots on a rather immobile suit uh and you do have that frontal shield unlike gm sniper uh which means you can take a bit of damage while firing off your shots you know and gm sniper also just narrowly misses the one shot uh not that it's not still pretty effective i would say snipers in general are pretty strong against heavy arms uh but yeah just that little bit of extra damage makes you feel very strong uh, i have heard some people say they don't feel like changes enough and needs another buff of other people who are now feeling like heavy arms is actually too strong i've heard a few suggestions uh for nerfing um the cooldown on the flip because it's a very good escape tool um i think i think yeah probably safe to not give it any more buffs right now I, I think heavy arms is is strong i don't know if i'd say nerf either but i do agree that the flip is hard it's very hard to track it's just weird kind of how the momentum works on it i feel like you quickly ascend and you expect it to kind of fall at the same rate but it's kind of hang up there in the sky for a bit before you fall down um yeah I, def I definitely feel like it's very strong now don't know if it's tournament viable i haven't actually uh i watched a little bit of the tournament they had last weekend I, as far as i know no one was playing heavy arms but uh i think at least in general play i think he's in a good spot uh, but right here on county trading post i would say probably not heavy arms best map you know talking about the flip it's very good when you can uh, just uh, quickly escape to like a high ground area and get behind a wall and make it really hard for a lot of suits that are kind of excel at just focusing you down with their long range damage can follow you and here you know there is low ground high ground where i am right now but there's not really a lot of walls uh and when you're on the points you know if you're on the top point obviously jumping up into the air doesn't really help you unless you jump and like hover down and when you're below you're in that area with a big ceiling so it's not too great um but of course there are still areas you can set up and put out the damage and, uh but unfortunately so far both of our plants uh, have failed. That one you saw, I was in position to potentially stop it, but the Hyperion was there, and uh, that's another one that I would say Heavy Arms kind of struggles with because it takes a bit to get to that shield, um, and you might go into overheat at that time if you don't have some backup. Right now, I was trying to go for a plant again. Barb got on me, and now there's a Hades going, just kind of hiding away. Don't really want to leave the area, but looks like he's coming here, going after our melee Zaku, but I'm shooting him in the back. Actually, missing a decent amount of my shots, but thankfully everyone stayed alive. I'm going to go for another plant here, this time lower. I think our other two were both upper getting shot by the hyperion but he, i was at a kind of an angle where i was leaned over and i don't think he hit me much now they're going for the disarm Hi hyperion does his best to block my g maneuver and it does do a pretty good job i think i end up hurting myself from it a bit as well but we do manage to stop the disarm and i'm a little bit confused there though because gun thing was helping me out we got the kill on the uh, the one going for the disarm but then he kind of just walked away while i was still fighting hyperion let me die i don't know if he accidentally went to overheat or what but uh i did die there but it looks like the rest of my team is still in position to defend Went for another disarm, but and there's their heavy arms. Like I said, though, we went for that flip, get stuck on the ceiling, and then you just kind of have to walk away. Not too great in that situation. But now I'm Methus Jimmy were boosted, shred that Hyperion from the back, and he quickly dies. Even if I wasn't going to get the kill. There's Barb over here harassing our gun tank, doing a lot of damage on him. He's kind of run away again. And this corner is pretty nice, unless that Barb sneaks up on me. I think I'm in a pretty good spot. And here he comes now. Try dodge away. He does get the stun. He's going for the G maneuver. It's pretty low. Dashes through, does get hit by just that single arm fire. And we've got it. They're all here still, though. We did at least get the bomb, so not too worried. End up kind of wasting that core fighter. You know, they got the kill on Melee Zaku, but he's actually going to spawn farther up than he was before. But they're still pushing in. They have no desire to back up. Do pick off the Pale Rider there, but Hyperion's on me. Super low, partially overheated, and try to back up and run to that gun tank. <laughs> with my new Gundam teammate as well. So we've still got a couple of them behind us, which is a little bit concerning because, uh, you know, if we get the waypoint on this plant, 
uh, on the, are on this way to uh, the plant. Um, it's a really good one, but if they come from behind and cap it after we've left, that could be really bad. Clean up the gun tank at least. Looks like Hyperion might be the only one left. I'm going to get the burn on him. Fubicidium, the hammer in the side, and he does go down. I think we got all of them. Don't know if there's anyone else left behind. I did kill that pale before. Now we're going to have to group up with the rest of our team and try and get this waypoint. No Jimmy were ready for me. It looks like we had the melee sock to spin. Not sure if he's going to use it here. Forcing Power Rider to run away and I actually just get the kill on him before he can get out of there. Heavy arms maybe as well. Nope. Overheat. And then Gun Tank comes and gets that repair as well. I was actually really, really a little bit annoyed there because I thought that my, that my team was going to be able to push up. I'm not sure if they were fighting someone else because uh, I overheated there and just couldn't finish my kill. But there comes Hyperion. Gets sniped in the head by Dynamics as he comes flying in. Leaning forward. Putting his head right in front of that shot. Goes down. Now we've got the waypoint at least, but we've only actually got a minute left. It took us a while to get that first point. So we're going to see what can happen here. My Jimmy is available now, but there's that dynamic. It's like I was saying, getting those relatively easy headshots on me while I'm just revved up, sitting kind of in place. And I'm trying to decide here if we want to go lower or upper. I feel like Barb is a little bit more threatening on the lower plant, because you can kind of see him coming on the upper. We do end up going for lower, and got Hades going as well. Try to slip past him just because I want to stop this disarm, but once again, Hyperion had the bubble up. And we do actually end up killing him. I think I helped burn through the bubble and then Methus got the finish. But they got the repair and Heavy Arms is there as well. And they do get to disarm. And 30 seconds left and we've lost the waypoint. This is a not a good situation. We've got 0% still that plan to not get to the 25. Which is pretty bad because counting trading posts, the first point isn't easiest to hold. So it is going to be a little bit of a tough one if we don't get any percentage on this. It looks like we did get a plant. Someone managed to survive back there even though we lost the waypoint. I think it was Methus. Try and claim back the waypoints so we can catch up with them. Heavy arms you knew were mostly wasted. See if we can pick up a kill on the gun tank as well. There goes the melee exact spin, but I don't think there's really much people around. The barb as well, and they're going from the disarm. Methus is still back there fighting. Looks like he managed to scare them off again. One more going for it. Looks like it's the pale rider. Make him back up. Here comes Hyperion. He's got the bubble up. Trying to burn through it again. He's below half, and his shield's almost gone. I'm just kind of waiting here, hoping that my missile pods are going to come up again. And right as I come up, I mostly hit that wall, unfortunately, and I do go down. Gundam G Mover on the spot, though. Doesn't get any kills, but it does buy a bit more time. And we've gone from 0% to potentially all the way. A couple of people still contesting. Hideo Kojima himself coming in on the eggs here to try and knock them off. He looks like he knocked them off a bit, but can he come in again? Fortunately not, but still, that's really good considering we were almost at 0% on the second point. Almost getting it all the way now. It's going to give us a lot more of a buffer. For defending in round two and now on the defense already revved up and waiting down here expecting them to probably come for the waypoint a couple of them coming in they got range exactly this time now gun tank slipped in there kind of hugged the wall didn't even see him we do get pal rider and his heal station mostly too far forward for his teammates to take advantage of did end up overheating but that's fine we got methods here to heal me up but we wait now they're pushing with three again Tank coming in aggressively. I don't know if his charge is already down or if he just didn't want to use it into the Sazabi, but we do get him and we get looks like both others. No range like still got away. They, they may want to rethink now if they want to go for this waypoint. I would say this waypoint isn't as strong as the one going to the second point, but it's still pretty good because it, it does get you a decent amount closer and also it just opens up the possibility of doing kind of pincer attacks, especially if you have like a plant on the upper point. It's it's a really kind of exposed um to defend that area from the waypoint side so having that option there uh does make it a lot uh, harder for the defense to kind of focus their efforts in one area it looks like they have decided to mostly push the front area now do pick up that kill on hyperion Gun tank's pushing up again he's got the health pack behind him though and i get hit by the g missile i'm kind of stuck I actually leap over the health pack but i do I am able to get back to it in time but barb picks up the kill on sazabi gun tank's in here as well i do get barb gun tank's going for the repair Shred him in the back, but he did get it off. Thankfully, I do finish him, so he can't be repaired as well, so it did end up being a one-to-one -one trade. But unfortunately, the barb is still alive. It looks like the rest of my team was able to get the disarm while that was happening. But they do have the waypoint now, too, so they did. someone did slip in, Cap. That might have been the range Zaku while that was happening. I'm going to see if we can get back in time. I do my Jimmy already. That's relatively early. We got the B point plant. It's gonna be a little bit harder because it's you know it's gonna be hard to flip into any sort of advantageous spot to go off here with the low ceiling. I'm on this dynamic is slip past and deny his health pack. I'm kind of waiting for more of my team to show up. I'm not really sure where they are. It looks like a couple of them are up top, but they're taking fights, and most of them are going down. So I'm just kind of alone here, firing away. Try to flip away before that goes off, but it actually just pulled me into it, and I get 
jump right into the ceiling like I've talked about being a bad position to be in and I go down because that range exactly gets on top of me and now 30 seconds left here comes the rest of my team finally respawning but they're kind of getting uh, pushed up on aggressively by this attacking team the name is taken out in the back by Hyperion there's another one down to Pal Ryder. He's got his Hades going, and I think I didn't realize how far up he really was. So I kind of walk up the ramp right into him. Really bad position to be in. Flip doesn't really get me as far as I wanted either. Try to juke for a bit. But I do get finished off, and unfortunately that repair isn't going to get me either. So four seconds left. We're pushed down the ramp all the way. Only one person up there. That is the Sazabi, and he goes down. So yeah, very fast. First point destruction by the attacking team. They've got over four minutes to get... Um, over 93% or around that amount to beat us here. So this is going to be tough. I'm going to see if we can maybe hold them at the waypoint for a while. That will buy us a lot of time. I uh, hear a Jimu coming. That's a core fighter, I believe. They already got a couple kills. Hideo Kojima going down again. He's not in the turn A now. Here comes the core fighter. Get, get it down below half, but it does blow up. But thankfully I'm alive. But I think we're going to have to give up this waypoint. Yep, a very aggressive team that we're playing against right now. They're already pushed up that far. And we're going to have to see what they go for. I'm mostly up top right now, so I'm thinking they're probably gonna go for A, so I do come up to see there. It looks like we got a couple kills on them, but they're all getting repairs too. The enemy is trying to fight me with those pistols. Yeah, I think I win that fight, although he got close, almost killed me there. I'm gonna go and grab this health pack, one that I feel like that health pack doesn't see a lot of use. Thankfully, I remember that it was there though, but yeah, it looks like I'm mostly pushing for A. I try and flip over, but I actually get caught on the edge of the ship there. Walk into a pale rider. I get caught again on this ledge. I'm still coming in. Got a burn on Hyperion, I'm behind him. Just decided to G maneuver. Kind of a weird spot where I'm firing in a very small area, but I do get two kills and kind of weaken up some others. But unfortunately, it looks like we also used the Butterfly. If I had known that was coming out, I probably would have saved mine. Although probably the other way around would have been better if you could have saved the Butterfly because it takes a longer time to charge. And a little bit of lag there. Hyperion teleported backwards. Here comes the G maneuver. He's really low, but he slips past. Kind of throws me off the edge there so my, uh, my body doesn't get destroyed. Hyperion, or Dynamics finishes him off, but... Didn't have time to get the repair on me. But it looks like, at, at the very least, we did uh, take back the waypoint. So they are going to. This is going to buy us a lot of time as they're coming back for it. But they are fighting. They did pick up a kill on our dynamics already. Sasabi got someone, though. Range Zaku, that's actually a good pickup. Turret takes down the Pale Rider, but the gun tank getting that repair. He's doing a really good job there. Gonna pick off Pale Rider again. And those GN missiles a little bit too far away to do anything. Still fighting over. They had, I think they might have kept it for like a second there, but they still don't have it now, so this is good. I guess a lot of time dealing away with that gun tank. He does get picked off by Methus. Arms up close. Here comes the G maneuver. I try and flip out of the way, but he does hit me. But at least I'm out of the way for the rest of it. But once again, I think we have to back up down this corridor here as the gun tank pushes in aggressively. Yep, got to back off. I can't definitely can't fight him and Hyperion at the same time. Fighting Hyperion alone is really tough because as much as they, you know, I talked about being better at shield shredding, that bubble is kind of a special type of shield, and right there, I thought he was going to go for the plant right away, so I just wanted to get in that bubble to stop it, but he smartly did wait, and uh, was able to win that one-on-one -on -one with his bubble up. I thought I was inside of it, but uh, he actually had his regular shield out as well, so even if I was in the, the bubble for part of that, he was still blocking my damage, and was probably just aiming for my head while I was up close like that, and kill. We did take him out, but we still haven't been able to disarm yet, barely winning that fight against Gun Tank. To see, you know, he's not gonna get those repairs, although he almost got repaired himself there. Did notice that um, repair gun was going off. Got off the pale rider, barbs coming in with Hyperion. Don't like fighting these two. Do go down, and are we, are we gonna be able to get this? We're going to disarm. Yes, Hyperion does manage to get it. That's a very risky one to go for with a barb that close, but I guess he had used um, one of his stuns already. Then they've got that Dynamis G we're going off to take out Sazabi. It's like B point plant again. It's gonna wait a bit for a team to come. Rain Sack gets on me. I was expecting him to juke around, but he just goes straight down the middle, which may have been smart. Almost got me killed there. But some greedy repairs. Did not know we were right above him like that. Take out both uh, Hyperion and Gun Tank. Those are their two best repairers. And get Dynamis, the third best repairer, going down. I think all we have left right now is Hyperion. Or, sorry, Pal Rider. And I think Barb is coming back. Range Zaku's still a bit away. But Barb alone may be able to stop for a bit. He's using a G move, but he gets grabbed. Awesome grab by turn A there. And we do get the disarm again, even with that core fighter coming in. Does take him out, though, so we won't have that grab again for a bit unless we can repair him. We do get the repair, actually, but now they're on A. This is their last ditch effort. Got the Methods G maneuver going on me. I want to go for G maneuver here, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to use my flip right away. I was worried about going too far over him. So I do get put the G maneuver off. No direct kills, but it does soften them up a bit. They're all pretty low. Here comes Rangzaki going for that last minute plant. I was overheated, but it just hit him with the missile pod. Works out. 
And now another plant trying to go down a B. Looks like trying to get the grab again, though. Barb has to go for it. It's taken out. And I think that's gonna be it. A very good hold on the second set of points after a pretty lackluster one on the first one. Team really came together and managed to defend. There's some risky disarms that worked out. But overall, a very good defense. And there we go. Heavy Arms bringing out all the damage. It does manage to get the MVP. I think perhaps not entirely deservedly. I think uh, our turn A and our Met has put in a lot of work on uh, defense and offense respectively. But overall, very good game. So very happy with how that worked out. But yeah, I'm curious to hear how all your thoughts are on Heavy Arms, how it feels right now. Do you think the buff was too much, not enough, just right? Let me know. I'm curious to hear what you think. Either way, that's going to be it for me for today. If you want to see more, you can stay tuned here on YouTube, or you can also catch me live streaming on Twitch. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.